Well, here we are again at Bellex, and we're going to talk about what's going on in the exhibition. I've been round and had a look, so let's hope that I found some interesting things for you. First of all, kettles. And I always seem to give you figures to start off with, and I'm not going to change things now. So, kettles. 1977, 72% of homes had electric kettles, and in 1987, 87% had electric kettles. 9% were jug ones. And it does seem, of course, that the customer loved the jug, jug kettles. Uh, they're also, of course, very energy efficient. The cordless type is coming in now, and a lot of people have said to me, well, cordless, what does it, where's the cord, where's the cord? So, for those of you that might be worried, uh, usually you have a base like this, the flexible is here, you plug into your socket outlet, and then your kettle just connects onto the top. Of course, with jug kettle, you can have various plastics and various colours, a small amount of liquid, or water rather, so that one can be really energy efficient and just have a cup of hot water for a, a, a cup of coffee, if you so desire, or tea. This is a Hayden, uh, but there are a lot of manufacturers here, and I've got a list for you, so if you want to look out for kettles, Hayden, Swan, Morphe Richards, Russell Hobbs, and Breville. Moving now on to toasters, Again, some figures for you. 1977, 30% of homes had a, an electric toaster. 1987, 42%. So there's a way to go. And it's a pity more people don't have them because, of course, it's so much more energy efficient using a toaster rather than a grill, which you have to heat up. And, of course, with today's toasters, they're so much nicer. With tumble dryers, of course, you can stack them. Again, you all know this, and you can have them side by side. Uh, I've got here a service tumble dryer, and it's electronic, it's very smart, it's got all the facilities that you'd like, the sensor-controlled dryers and other features that you will see around on the stand. Uh, I was rather interested, interested with the baby dryers. There's lots of baby dryers around, and uh, they are Hotpoint, Creda, Electrolux, Crossley. Uh, Hoover have got their range here, and also Ariston, and of course you can see the service electronic on the service stand. Now, according to my next card, daytime, not much done. Would you believe it? Uh, in fact, I'm in my office, and I wouldn't say I'm not doing much. But if I am home, I might have a quick whiz round with my vacuum cleaner. So, very cleverly, you see, I've put this in. So, let's talk about vacuum cleaners. There's, again, many manufacturers here, but let's have some figures first of all. 1977, 90% of homes had a vacuum cleaner. 1987, 96% percent of homes had a vacuum cleaner. So there's a small percentage out there on their hands and needs with a dustpan and brush. And in a moment, I'll show you the hostess idea. Because, of course, it's silly to have two ovens that you can't put to full use. So, OK, if you're not using both ovens at the same time, which you may not wish to, perhaps during the week you'll be using the top, then you can also have, and it's supplied with the cooker, I call it a heated trolley service, but you've got three Pyrex dishes in which you can put food, keep the food hot, and then serve it later on. And if I lift that up, hopefully we'll be able to see... Oh, no, it's here. I'm sorry. We've changed our position. This morning we were going to put it in there. We put it on the top here. So three dishes with lids, which we've taken off, and this actually could be a complete meal. Soup, chicken casserole, and rice pudding. And that just slides into the bottom unit, or the top if you wish, and there you are. You've got a heated trolley without taking extra space in the kitchen. This is the halogen cooking by light. Four tungsten halogen lamps, which you can see quite clearly here. And as I turn it down, so, of course, I can see where I'm going, right down to the lowest simmer. And I do believe that this is the best simmer you could ever get with any fuel because it's very, very fine. And just bring it back up again so you can enjoy the pleasure of it. But what's the other benefits? Well, of course, you can see it when it's on, regardless of which control you're on, but it's very controllable. And that is, of course, a tremendous bonus for some people who do like to see something. Microwave. Would you expect me to stand here and not talk about microwave? Some more figures for you. 1977, 1% 1 of homes had a microwave cooker. 1987, 28%. So it's really going. Uh, they're obviously loved and cherished, I'm sure. 39 manufacturers are now making microwave cookers. And 239 models are available. Of that, 24 are combination. Well, who's got them here? Belling, Creeder, Electrolux, Swan, Tricity, 
Um, and also, Russell Hobbs are introducing a small one, 530 watts, and it's designed to go with their reflection range of small appliances. Now, I'm wandering over here because you can't see it very clearly, but I'll just lift it for a moment, excuse me. This, I've got it the wrong way up, is a building in kit, shall we say, for the wall. All the manufacturers do do building in kit, kits, not kits, kits, for their microwave cookers, but it, should there not be, this not be possible for someone, then Hayden are doing a wall bracket. This is a larger one, they do a smaller one, so that the public can hang it on the wall, and no problem at all, and it's very sturdy. Well, the day's over, of course, hot bath, electric, of course, warm towels for my electric towel rail. I, I tell you, I'm telling the truth. And then I'll get into bed with my electric duvet, which, and my husband, but the duvet is very nice and very comfortable. Uh, that's my day, which is, is quite normal, I think. Most of us work like that. But, of course, there are other appliances that people may wish to use that they find more suitable for their lifestyle. And I'm told that we could have something like 200 appliances in our homes. So I had a look around my home, and I, I managed 46. That's without the light fittings. That's just appliances. I had a look around to see what other appliances were here that you might be interested in. Hand dryers, heat tray sadia, hand wash units, Triton, dehumidifier, I think they've got that on the leg stand, tea urn, swan, uh, again the electric duvet, which I seem to have a thing about on the Dreamland stand, and Breville are showing their rechargeable three-in-one mixer, knife and can opener. There's one other stand I'd like you to take the time out to see if, you, if you've got time. I know you're going to be busy. But all our appliances, as I said, are BAB approved or going through for approval. And the tests are carried out at Leatherhead at our plants testing laboratories. And normally you don't even get the chance to see what's going on there. But today, actually, they have a stand. And so you'll be able to see some of the very stringent tests that they carry out on electrical appliances. Uh, two of the features that they've got is actually uh, a test for opening and closing a microwave oven door. And the unit actually is automatically, not by a man but by a machine, is opened and closed, opened and closed 100,000 times. And everything's got to be safe and in working order after that. Another one is where they're, they're measuring the cooker external temperatures. And I'm sure you've all written about things like this. But I don't know if you realize that we're the only people in Europe that actually have got temperature measurements for the outside of the appliance. Uh, the rest of Europe actually don't bother. We do. So I think I've said enough. I'm going to close now. And in a moment, Mr. Jack Taylor, our central marketing director, will be talking to you about the total heating system. Thank you.